pi. So I'm doing this a different way rather than like fire, earth, water. I'm doing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, this is for the middle of July of 2019. Pisces goes first, Cancer goes second, Scorpio goes last. I've already pulled these cards. We're going to dig right into it. Okay, Pisces, you have number four, the spirit of place. Okay, authenticity is the essence of power. Your ancient ancestors believe that every place has a spirit looking after it to embody it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, trees, birds, mountains, and rivers have their own essence. Okay, when the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Like what's going on in your life? What's something that majorly plagues you? What's the big question that you sit and you ponder at night, you know? Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiring re uh, relates to love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the truth that underlies your question, you need to name it. You'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is your authenticity. Okay. That being followed up with the Eight of Wands, Love Arrows, Communication. The Devil in the Reverse. Okay. Letting go of something like control, control issues, lustfulness with the tower. Something shaking your stability and opening your eyes. That's how I see that. Okay. Two major arcanas and um, you know, love. <laughs> Messages. Let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, something is coming. Often a message or information that will assist you in your endeavor. You're waiting for news. You won't have to wait much longer, though. You know, things are speeding up. Your blockages are coming down. You know, things are unfolding. Be prepared. Don't be caught off guard, though. Don't be caught off guard. Uh, the devil in this side. Sorry, I gotta look this up, because... Where are you? You mm -mm 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 -mm. have to do with lovers. The lovers that aren't in the picture are on the front. They're like the forefront of your thought. Okay. The meaning is the same as the other side, with the added message that the devil's attention is elsewhere for the moment. So you have a better chance of making your escape. Seize that hope that rises before you. Get off my arm. You know, clarity. Sending a message, not letting your fears and your doubts get in the way of something that's right before your face. You already have that answer. Okay, you have the answer. It's deep within you. However, you're not really going to be prepared for, I think, the message or the clarity that's coming to you. Now, this can be vice versa, too. I do forget to say that sometimes. Um... Look for a weakness in your foundation. You know, are you complacent? Are you vulnerable? You need to be vulnerable, to be fair. Um, it's a wake-up call. Don't sugarcoat coat things. Don't live in illusion. Uh, your denial is... You're denying something. It's being brought to the, the front. It's being clear. You're having a moment without all those doubts and fears. You know, you're going to receive or send the message. You're letting go of control of a situation because it's no longer working for you. Okay. I want to use this deck for two more clarifiers, please. Two more clarifiers for Pisces. I did not get out very far. Two more clarifiers for Pisces. The spirit of place and the devil, please. Okay. Oh, I get I got three. Well, <laughs> the tower again. Folks, can't make that up. 
Something's happening for you. Major shift. Major, major shift. You're realizing that you can no longer live in this abandoned place. You're abandoned mind with, with death and judgment. Okay. Stepping into a new door. You see how the moon is placed in the same spots of these cards. You've been living in like delusion, illusion, fears. Uh, you're you're coming out of it because something is shaking your world up. Okay, uh, maybe you've been codependent on something for a little too long, or stepping through a new doorway, being asked to make this this judgment call. There is no going back. You have two towers. You have two towers, Pisces. This is a major shift in your stability, in your thoughts, your patterns, your life. Your something is majorly changing. Maybe your third eye is opening, or you can actually see the truth when a message comes in. Because a, a decision is definitely being made. Something is being thrown to the past. You or you or whomever is walking through the door of transformation no longer going to live on falsehoods and I think you might feel that coming actually you might have loosened yourself or stepped away from a certain person um, or habit to allow you to see much clearer and be able to send that message out I do have to move on I will get you a little wisdom card <sighs> Okay, Pisces, Spirit of Place, what wisdom do you have to add? What little rhyme of wisdom? This one stands out. Sunset, time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain. Fade as the sunlights burn. Hmm. Been an illusion about love? Hmm. Like, comment, let me know what's going on going on <laughs> major shifts coming though love major major shift all right around 720 for cancer please you got rescue cancer that is number 16 which denotes to an eight which walking away a rescue mission maybe to save yourself walking away from some old patterns everything is connected through the universal oh that's not it what the hell why am I thinking 18 for something? I, I went to 18. It was clear as day in my head. Huh. You are always safe and secure. And free to be yourself. Okay. Okay. Asking for help is not many. Isn't many. <laughs> isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. Cancer. You center this just right for you. If you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand now. You need only ask, and assistance will come your way. The most important support you can expect is from spirit, higher power. Get into a right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with all the help you need. Ask and you will receive. There is no need to fear. Safety is a place within. You have it within you. You have it within your surroundings. You do have people to ask for help. You know, don't get stuck in that you can't. Everything comes with like a price. Okay, don't get into that mentality. And then we, oh, I'm totally jumping ahead here because I'm getting tired. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The magician standing behind it, manifesting something new. Like manifesting fortune, perhaps. Uh, a fortunate new beginning. With temperance, divine timing, even kill, mixing of emotions, mixing of situations, almost like a balancing act with the page of pentacles and on this side of the page of pentacles is like a stable risk taker taking on something new manifesting you know something good once you ask this person maybe after you um say you're sorry 
bring a relationship into balance that you once had that you may have thrown out of balance, which helps you turn the wheel of fortune in your favor and gives you uh, a chance for a um, stable new start. Cancer. I need two more cards for Cancer in this rescue mission and for Brett's please. Tanked Man. You've been enlightened about something, or soon will, because it's in the reverse. You're letting yourself down because you put yourself there. It's a new stable offer. I'm not new stable. Stu new emotional offer is coming. I don't know if that's enough. A new emotional fulfillment. Hmm. Meager, though it's like you're you're being meager and almost uh, like a child, I think, with your head down, uh, giving. You know how a kid walks up like all shy with uh, giving something to someone that maybe they have a slight crush on. You know what I mean? With like their head down, they're giggly, they don't really speak. That's how I feel about this card here. Like you trying to ask for help or you um, offering this apology, you've had the enlightenment, and you know this person's really your friend, they always help you. Okay, you may have done something. And that's, uh, uh, you're taking yourself. Ah, I feel like I need one more for you though. What is this for cancer? What is this for cancer? Please, I have a flipper. Oh, shit. You got judgment too. Okay. You've been dancing around this situation and it's time. It's time to make it right. It's time for you to put your your body into motion, your mind into motion, open your mouth. It's time to make a call. Physically, probably. Make that call. Doesn't matter how small the offer they might just accept and help rescue. Okay? You are the manifester of yourself. And I'm going to give these a good shuffle real quick before we move on. Come on. Ugh. Ah, resilient Scorpio. Oh, I'm telling you, I have like seven placements. Of Scorpio. <clears throat> oh, give me a little wisdom here. Sorry, trying to move ahead here. Give me a little wisdom for Cancer. Not rescue, please. Intuition, simple complex words of pain, or that heal you come to know truth by the way that it feels. Taking yourself out of that uh, hangman mode. You're offering, uh, I think, an apology to someone uh, for a rescue mission. You're using your intuition about it. Hmm, makes sense to me. Okay. <coughs> now we are at 1338 for Scorpio. Okay. You have magic prayer, which is like releasing, I almost feel like, uh, Almost like it's a judgment card, like in my other deck of like release renewal. Cause you see how she just like head back, take it on the world, come as it may. Okay, magic prayer, Scorpio. Speak your prayers and listen for the answers. They are in faith. When you see the magic prayer, it's a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit is always wanting to help you and to heal you. When you're in need, that said, the best prayer is, Thy will be done through me, thy will, and not mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power. Be assured that you are on the right path. So you're sending out these thoughts. 
you need to make sure you keep them in check, okay? Uh, balance your light and your dark so you're not just sending out light or dark because that shit will manifest real, real quick, okay? Clarifiers are the Five of Swords, Thought, Conflict, with the High Priestess on this side. This is, she already knows, she's already made a decision. The universe has given you the knowledge that you are seeking. You're sitting within that. With the Death in Reverse, which is like the woman from the world dancing in the background. You know, you've been given a second chance. Uh, something is renewing. Death has passed you over. That is, um, I believe, the Hierophant and the mag uh, Magician sitting there with new gifts of inspiration uh, to go out into the world with this new clarity that's been given to them. You see how those two pillars are there with the sun? And the moon card, the moon is there and it is night. Something has been shined upon you. You've been given a second chance to go manifest um, new. That's why I was trying to say be very conscious of what you are sending out right now, Scorpio, because it's coming to you. You can feel it with this high priestess. Uh, you know something is around the bend. Okay, you've been very much in contemplation and like a four of swords, um, transforming, resting, because you were conflicted, okay? This person in the background has just given up while the person in front of them feels mighty and tall. They're just surrendering in the back without being actually hurt. No one's actually hurt. It's just uh, more of pride and ego. Like, I give. I'm tired. I give. I'm just going to send it into the world what I need. Another day will come. You know, and that's what this death card is. Another day is coming. You know, death has passed you. You get a second chance. So be very mindful that you're you're keeping in contact with light. An evening kill, the light, the dark. Can I get two more cards for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio for the middle of July of 2019. Flipper. The devil. <laughs> this devil card is just acknowledging that there is dark and light. The devil is a hologram, a ghost, um, an entity in the middle of a church. It's like going to church and knowing the devil is outside or the devil is um, lust. It is addiction. Um, this is again just kind of backing up my balancing of light and dark. Do you understand? The spirit of the devil is in the church. The spirit of darkness is inside of the light, the house of light. You need to balance these two out. That's why you are being given a second chance of death here. One more card, please. Death and Devil. Magic Prayer. Maybe you need to definitely seek out a guru, me. Get some sage. Get your thoughts and yourself in balance here. One more card, please. I don't think that's right. Scorpio, what is this double in test reverse? Okay. All right, you are hoping for a new spark, a new love, a new passion. It's being given to you. The universe is opening up this uh, doorway. All right, but you need to remember during this, passion can. Ignite you and consume you. Okay? This lustfulness. This passion, this spark you're taking on. Don't be consumed by it. 
you know, just let it lead you. Let it lead you. You can comment. Let me know what's going on if you feel so to do so. You also have the two of wands here. Okay, you're making a choice, travel, passion. Let me know what's going on. Uh, hit that little bell up here to get uh, notifications. And I'll get you later.